Well guys, welcome to the Ostov or Ostov Hotel. This is a resort in uh, near Elkhart or by Elkhart Lake in Wisconsin. It's a beautiful resort. You come here uh, for Road America and other racing events like that. Uh, I think that's a really popular thing to do around here. That's the reason we came. And I just wanted to show you guys this beautiful, beautiful exterior. The inside is kind of traditional, old timey, but I kind of like that. I mean, I'm just a sucker for traditional in general, but this is just awesome. The whole hotel comes all the way around there to here. Huge, huge property. This is what you see when you come up the stairs here, the stairs uh, for when you're down in the lower courtyard, which I'll, I'll go down there towards the end of the video because I have uh, um, some other things to record down there, like some fan stuff. Um, but anyway. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys around this. It's incredible. This is like a little pond stream that they have here that I think there's supposed to be fountains in. You can kind of see the water rustling and you can hear the motors and pumps running. So maybe, I don't know. But yeah, there's a lot of space to just hang out, play with your friends or family and just relax, which is exactly what a hotel should be like. And even a little spot for you to propose to your girlfriend if you want. Nothing like being engaged at the Ostoff Hotel. I saw someone get married here. Or I saw people get married here last time I was here. Over there. So, engagement here, marriage here. It all comes full circle. Oh, rabbit. There's another view of the pond. We'll get one above the bridge there too. But what they also have that I like, they have two outdoor pools. They have this one here, which is kind of the more secluded pool. But I like it because it's, uh, you don't have to go through the inside to access it. I mean, you don't have to go through the inside to access the other one either, but this one's just, a lot nicer in my opinion. It's smaller, which is better. It doesn't have a snack stand, which some people might think is a downside, but I personally like it. You know, I don't need snacks in my pool for while I'm swimming. Here's like a fountain waterfall that goes down into the uh, pond or stream. Let me see if I can actually get a better view of it from over here. See, it goes down from over there, and then over here. If 4K wasn't so big of, uh, or didn't produce such big file sizes, I would probably record this whole thing in 4K, but like a minute of 4K is like 100 gigabytes if it's really good quality, and I don't want to deal with that. Well, maybe not 100 gigabytes, but you get the point. Oh, look, another space to propose. This one right on the water. And right in front of everybody. <laughs> I guess that's the one you want to go to if the other one's booked up or if you just really don't want privacy. Um, this is the other outdoor pool. No one's over there right now. But yeah, it's got a snack shack over there. You have to go, you can uh, go through the indoor pool to access it easily. And uh, yeah, there's that. A place where you can meet up, meet uh, your future boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, whatever you want to call him, or whatever you prefer to be called. Another view of the pond. I know I'm connecting every single bench I see here to dating, but why not? Again, what better hotel 
to basically have every major event of your dating life occur at. The meetup, the engagement, and the marriage. Couldn't be better. So yeah, over here, we just have a lot more field. I'm gonna try stalling a little bit because there's people in the way. I don't wanna catch them on film. More uh, field, like I said, this is where I saw a marriage occur. Right in this field here, my, one of my previous rooms was like somewhere up there. Um, and we got to see it firsthand. This is probably the best spot, if I'm being honest, for any events to occur. Right, let's get back under the main path here. You guys like when I do these tours? I don't know if I have like the touring, or the tour guide voice, but if I do, then please let me know. Here's another gazebo. This one I think is just if you wanna just hang out with people outside. The other one, like I said, was from your, um, that we're gonna see downstairs is for musicians. And this one, it's just to hang out. Someone left their drink there. That's wonderful. No fan in this one. There isn't the other one, but I'll have a video on that. More benches here. I will not make a dating connection to those. These are just if you uh, want to just come here, be outside of your hotel room, and play Clash Royale. That's what these are. These are the Clash Royale benches, and some poor guy lost his ice cream cone and sat on it because it's flat. But yeah, that's a basic overview of the outside. Again, I'll show you the uh, downstairs in the next clip. So we are now in the lower part of like the courtyard in the evenings. This is pretty lively. Um, they have their bonfires over here. People play games in this wide open field. There's a basketball court over there. Picnic tables, seating, grill even. I think these grills are for public use. I'm not really sure though. And then right off the piers here, we have Lake Elkhart or Elkhart Lake, however you want to say it. A gorgeous, gorgeous lake. I'm not sure if this is a man-made lake or not. I've heard that it is, and I've also heard that it's natural. And quite honestly, considering this thing is like 120 feet deep, yeah, it's actually that deep, uh, I'd be shocked if this was a man-made lake because that just seems like a huge waste of water. Especially since it's really just boats that they rent out um, and like those kayaks things. And I mean, there's homes around here too with their own boats. And even a little bit down there because it kind of extends but this is the main uh meat of it right here so it's pretty cool speaking of the boat rentals i'll show you kind of what they have over there too i swear this is pretty much just like an advertisement for us at this point and i'm probably butchering the name too so it's like a, not even a good advertisement but you know what i'm just showing off what they have to offer yeah look, look how clean this water is you see right to the bottom of that now this is obviously not the 120 feet deep portion that's all the way out there we went swimming a couple days ago rented out a boat i went swimming and i thought i was gonna like I, I was i was scared to jump in because i didn't know how deep it was before then and i didn't want to possibly break my knee or hit my foot or something on like a rock <laughs> i jumped in and man i you could just feel the space beneath you the you could just feel the depth of this lake it's it, it's weird like you have to it's one of those things you have to feel it to believe it it's weird and over there i'll try getting a closer view this is like the beach area lawn chairs playground things like that it rained a lot over here so i think there's people um it rained a lot over here this morning and a bit last night there's people 
uh, cleaning out the area. I'll head over there in a bit, but I'll just, while I'm over here, looks like I, sorry, bug flew in my eye. <sighs> Joy's of filming in nature, right? This is why I can't be a nature channel. This bug's fly in my eye. Okay, so they have this blocked off, but this is where you would go to, for the boat rentals. Good morning to you too. What a polite bird. You're welcome. So here are the paddle boats. They're named. Everyone say hello to Paulina or Paulina. The swan. Good morning to you too. I'm trying to get this to be like one. To, okay, there we go. Perfect. You can just sit around and look at the lake too. You can rent canoes over there. And then also they have uh, rental stuff. This is where you go to rent the boats and canoes and things like that. And, and you can even rent some water sport gears like tubes and whatnot. And yes, in case some of you are wondering, I did get videos of the fans here because there are quite a few fans, more than I actually expected there to be. I've been here twice already, this is my second time. And there's plenty of new fans that I've discovered, like one in there I didn't know that was there, and one in, uh, in there that I didn't know was there. The other ones I saw, but they weren't running because it was much colder out. Um, this is the gazebo where they do, uh, they have like bands and stuff play here. Not, not like, I don't think really popular bands, but like little bands, like cover bands, things like that come here. Some of them are pretty good. This is where seating is over here. I'm gonna try not to film the people or the employees that are working here. Cause that's just not polite. No pets allowed. And this is like the beach area. We are going into the sand because I'm not wearing uh, easy, clean shoes. But yeah, that's the beach. People go swimming all the time here. Um, sh uh, snack shack over here too. Bar, upper bar, all that cool stuff. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little tour of the outside and uh, thank you guys for watching. Ugh, I barely stepped in the sand and there's already sand all over my feet. That's wonderful.